Jonathan and David were best friends. It didn't matter to Jonathan that one day David would be king over Israel and take the place of his own father, King Saul. Jonathan would always do what was best for his friend because he loved David and he knew that God was with him. King Saul, on the other hand, was so jealous of David that he wanted to kill him. David feared for his life. He asked Jonathan, why is your father trying to kill me? And what have I done to make him so angry? Jonathan was surprised by David's question. How do you know my father wants to kill you? He promised me he was not mad at you anymore and would never hurt you. But David was convinced that Saul hated him. So the two of them came up with a plan that would prove whether or not David was in real trouble with King Saul. When they were done discussing the plan, David hid and Jonathan returned home to his father. And so the plan moved forward. David did not show up for an important dinner with the king and his family, even though everyone expected to see him. If the king asked why David was not at the dinner, Jonathan was to tell the king that he was attending the feast with his own family. The hope was to find out whether Saul would be angry with David or not. As the dinner went on, the king could not help but notice that David was not sitting in his place at the table. He asked Jonathan, Where is David, and why is he not here? Jonathan wasn't even finished explaining when the king became very angry. He was so filled with hate that he picked up his spear and hurled it at his own son. Jonathan knew without a doubt that David was in real danger. David, still hiding, waited for the signal that would tell him whether or not it was safe for him to come out. Jonathan would shoot three arrows close to the target if David was safe, but he would shoot them past the target if he was still in danger. Jonathan shot the arrows far into the distance. David now knew the truth. Saul wanted to murder him. Pastor Nate, prayer for this video finds you well this morning. Um, yes, I'm very loud today. I want to be loud today because I don't want you to forget the Smart Show, which takes place every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Y'all come and join that live. These are what I'm doing now. These are the morning uploads, right? These are just the morning nuggets with Pastor Nate. So, yes, I'm very loud today. You might have to put on some sunglasses to watch this upload. I promise I won't keep you long, so just bear with me. If you need to put your sunglasses on, go ahead and put them on if this shirt is blinding you. But yeah, it's popping out, the smart show. Yeah, you can't forget that, right? It's loud and it's clear. It's speaking very loud, so y'all do not forget the smart show every Tuesday at 8 p.m. That's when we go live. You don't want to miss those live. We have a great time for those 45 minutes, so don't forget about me on Tuesday. Yes, this shirt will not let you forget because every time you think about the smart show, you're going to see yellow. Yes, bless the name of the Lord. But listen real quickly. You saw the title of the video. It's asking a question. Is it bone carrying or is it having your back? Mm, that's a good question because there's a fine line. A lot of times when people come and tell you different things about what other people said or what other people um, are doing or whatever the case is, a lot of times we think it's bone carrying. When it might be that person is so interest in, interested in your well-being that he or she is looking out for you. Yes, we actually have some people out there 
who are looking out for us. So they're watching out for us. And I would suspect, friend, that those are people like your family and your closest friends and, you know, and, and people like that. So when they come to you and tell you, maybe we need to consider what they say. It's not always uh, bone carrying, but uh, it might actually be actually looking out for your best interest and protecting you. Maybe they're being a gatekeeper because if I'm friends with someone, if I love someone, I'm going to look out for that person. Yes, if there's somebody else that's trying to create a snare for you and dig a ditch for you and I see it, I'm going to go back and tell you, hey, be careful. Leave that person alone. That person is trying to harm you, right? So you see the difference? As opposed to me just coming and say, hey, uh, uh, such and such said this about you. They said that if I'm just some blow Joe, just want to see a lot of drama going where I just add stuff to the story or take stuff away just to, with malice, just to make it make a lot of confusion and chaos, then that's something different. But if I come to you and say, hey, brother, hey, my sister, be careful. Do be careful around this other person. This other person does not mean you any good. That's not bone carrying. That's actually having your back. Let's get into it. You guys saw the video uh, of uh, Jonathan and David. And in 1 Samuel 29, that's what that video is based off of, where Jonathan was in a difficult position because Jonathan was Saul's son, and he was also David's best friend. So Jonathan was in a very difficult situation, you know, in the middle because he had to, you know, he was dealing with his father, maybe trying to maintain that relationship with his father, and then also trying to maintain a relationship with David. Well, he didn't realize that uh, his father was trying to kill David. David brought it to Jonathan's attention. So Jonathan said, come on, let's devise a plan. Let's see if my father really wants to kill you. So you saw the plan where David didn't show up for dinner. And so Jonathan was just testing to see if his father really wanted to kill David. And then, you know, they came up with a plan. If they shoot the arrow or whatever, this here means that uh, my father's trying to kill you. But if the arrow goes this far, then maybe my father uh, isn't trying to kill you. So David and Jonathan came up with that plan. They devised a plan and the arrow was part of the sign but to make a long story short when Jonathan was at the dinner at his father's dinner and uh, his father inquired of David and Jonathan was trying to protect David during that dinner uh, at that moment Jonathan's father Saul was very um, upset to the point where he threw something at his own son Jonathan Yes, he was so mad, and that let Jonathan know, hey, my father is really after David. My father is trying to kill my friend David. Oh, God, I'm in a difficult position here. My father, uh, uh, whom I love, is trying to kill my best friend, David. What do I do here? So Jonathan goes to tell David, basically, you know, when he went back with the error, basically the sign was, hey, my father is trying to kill you. Yes. And that's not bone carrying. That's actually having uh, his best interest at heart. Jonathan was trying to protect his friend. Friend, if you have somebody like that in your life, appreciate that. It's not all the time people are gossiping. It's not all the time that people are hating. I know sometimes when we get excited and we have an idea and we say, oh yeah, you know, I'm going to work with this person. This person going to do that and going to do that. And you're telling me if I'm your friend and I might say, mm, I don't think that's a good idea. You might need to leave that person alone. I don't think he's a good person. And you're so excited till you really don't see that. Uh, and sometimes we probably do see the signs, but sometimes we just ignore. But sometimes we get so excited, we don't see uh, what I see. So if I'm telling you to stay away from that person, and then you think I'm putting a damper on your excitement, or and then you might say, oh man, you hating. Why can't you ever be happy for me? You know, this is an opportunity. And I'm studying saying, no, you might not want to hang with this person. This person is very manipulative and deceptive. This person does not mean you any good. You might not want to go in business with this person. Um, I've seen how this person do business. You've never seen it, but I've, I've witnessed before, and it's not good. But you're so excited, and it's it, you feel like it's such an opportunity, so you feel like I'm hating on you. You feel like I'm being messy. You feel like I don't want you to be successful. So now you get mad at me. Have y'all ever been around those type of people? Have you ever been the person that tried to warn your friend, 
and they didn't listen. And then they find out later they should have listened. So my friend, let's just say he moves forward with what he feels is an opportunity. And he finds out later that uh, this other person was a snake. Ooh, see, I tried to tell you, but you didn't listen, right? Listen to that inner voice sometimes inside. Sometimes it tell you, don't do it. Y'all have had that inner voice where you kept moving forward and later on you find out that it wasn't a good situation. You say, I should have listened to my first mind. So, you know, listen to your friend, consider because everything ain't gossip that you hear. Some things people are actually trying to protect you. Some things people have your best interest at heart. And sometimes we can just listen to things in the street. I made a video that said, uh, bit my muddy uh, uh, mama said everybody ain't lying. When you hear some things in the street, yeah, a lot of it's gossip, a lot of it's not true. But there's some truth to a lot of that stuff you hear. So maybe you need to consider some of the things you hear. Maybe not uh, move upon what you hear, but certainly verify and be cautious. At least you are aware of what you're hearing. Yeah, we can't believe everything you hear, but certainly be aware and be cautious and verify before you really jump into something because you might jump into something that is hard to get out. So the question is, uh, have you had an experience in the past with someone where you thought it was bone carrying and it wasn't bone carrying? It was actually that person was trying to look out for you just like uh, Jonathan did David. Mm -hmm. And then there are some instances where it was bone carrying, where some people carried a bone just to see confusion. And then you also find out if that dog will uh, 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 bring a bone, he'll carry a bone, right? You've trusted somebody where they gave, they divulge information of somebody else's information. They say, hey, just between me and you, I'm just telling you, you ain't here from me if I tell you. Well, if that person is doing that with malice, just to be messy, just to, you know, just to, keep confusion going, you best believe that he's going to tell your information and take it to somebody else too, if he's operating in that spirit. But if he has your best interest at heart, he's going to look out for you. He's protecting you. And that's what I do. If I love you, I am going to tell you when danger is ahead. My friend, I hope this exhortation blessed you. And I pray in the meantime, in between time, you be at peace and not in pieces. And don't you forget the smart show. Y'all go subscribe. Until next time, my friend.